Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. So recently I was browsing on Amazon for some teeth whitening foam and I stumbled across this guitar right here. And it's from a brand that I've never heard of before. With the features that this guitar has and the price they're selling it for, uh, it really caught my attention immediately. So this is the Valgoa VLG6 and they sell this guitar for between $150 to $200. I got mine for about $180, and I've seen them on sale as low as $150. And first of all, just look at it. I mean, this guitar is beautiful. It's got the quilt maple veneer with the matching headstock, and I love the wood binding on this. You know, it's like that masked or scraped wood binding. It's very elegant looking. So as you guys probably know, I always love affordable guitars, and this is certainly a nice looking guitar, but the thing that was really interesting about it is the materials that they're using, especially in this price range. So it's a mahogany body. Of course, we've got the maple veneer tops on the body and on the headstock. It has a nice roasted maple neck, and the fretboard, the frets and the fretboard is very interesting because we've got these rounded ball-end frets, right, which are becoming super popular on a lot of these new affordable guitars. And then the fretboard material is this HPL, or high-pressure laminate material. And so this is basically, it's like a resin and wood combination. And it creates this very shiny and very hard material. So it almost looks like it's like a highly polished ebony. I mean, I can just turn the fretboard there and you see how, how shiny this is. And it's not like they sprayed some kind of gloss coating on this, you know, like a fender fretboard or something, but this is just how shiny the material is once it's been buffed. Now, the other thing about the neck and fretboard is they've got this truss rod adjustment down here at the neck pocket, which I really love. And also, it's a 24 fret fretboard. And there might be a little bit of confusion on this because with a lot of these uh, less expensive guitars on Amazon, the listing... Uh, sort of contradicts itself a little bit and at one point it says it's 22 frets and at one point it says it's 24 frets But obviously as you can see here, this is a 24 fret fretboard now the other specs on this guitar are pretty straightforward It's a standard, you know sort of generic hardware It's a vintage or actually a two-point style strat type trim It's got a five-way blade type switch and a single volume and a single tone control and of course on this guitar We've got the hum single hum pickup arrangement. Now what's interesting is that they sell this guitar in a couple other colors, but they also have just twin humbucker versions with no middle pickup. But on those ones, at least what I can tell from the pictures is the body is slightly different. And so even though I'm not a big middle pickup guy, I prefer the body on this version of the guitar because it has this really sharp upper horn here, which I like. To be clear, guys, this guitar is straight out of the box. I have done no setup work at all. Uh, to it and also I mean hopefully you already realize this but I mean I when I said I, I bought it on Amazon I did buy this the company didn't send it to me or anything like that so I want to go ahead and plug this in and get uh, you know just some first impressions of playing it and see how it sounds and see how it plays and I'm really curious about this this fretboard material because it feels very 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 hard and very smooth. Okay guys so real quick if you enjoy videos like this checking out cool new affordable guitars and also staying up on all the latest news in the guitar universe, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, we'll go ahead and plug this in. I'm gonna use my Fender GTX 100 amplifier for the demo, and we will listen to how this sounds and see how it plays. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so the VL6 from Valgoa can get it on Amazon, right? But let's talk a little bit about the tone and the playability of this guitar. So, uh, first of all, the sound of the pickups is, uh, you know, I like it. It's, they're, these are very hot pickups, hotter than I was really expecting. Uh, now, one thing to keep in mind here, you know, I'm playing this through a combo amp, and I'm not playing it at, at a really loud volume. Uh, so you might run into some feedback issues if you're playing this in like rehearsal or on stage with a really loud stage volume or something like that. You might not. I'm just saying I haven't been able to verify whether or not these pickups are, are really prone to feedback. But they do sound pretty good uh, just playing through them here, you know, in my apartment. As far as the frets and this, this fretboard goes, um, you know, out of the box, the action is a little bit higher than I would like. But all of the frets are leveled nicely, and I'm not getting any dead spots or anything like that. But later on, I think I'm going to try and, and bring the action down a little bit lower, uh, hopefully without any, buzzy, uh, without any buzzing. rather. But right now, I'm not getting any choked notes or bad buzzing or anything like that. And the action, like I said, is, is high, but it's still totally playable. One thing that I really like, which jumped out to me, is of course these frets because they have the rounded ball end, very smooth edge to the fretboard, and very nicely polished. So all of your bends and everything are, are really effortless. Now, these are not super tall frets, and I personally like big, tall, extra jumbo frets. These are not that. These are sort of, you know, medium, may maybe medium jumbo, depending on your definition of that. But they're very smooth, they're finished very nicely, and of course having the 24 frets on here, is something I always love. So this will sound a little bit crazy to some of you, but I honestly think the looks of the guitar makes a big difference in how excited you are to play the guitar. And so, you know, imagine having this sitting on a stand in the corner of your room or something. You look at this guitar and you think, wow, that's such a nice guitar. Even though you might have paid only 150 bucks for it, you look at it and it's like, man, I want to go pick up that guitar and play it. And that's a great feeling to get when you look at a guitar, especially for a beginner or somebody who's starting out. So, you know, imagine opening up your Christmas presents and you get this guitar and you, and you look at it and it's like, wow, now that's, that's a nice guitar. So in a weird way, just the looks alone and the fact that it is still a nice playable guitar, I mean, just that alone for me is worth the price. The other cool thing about it is that it comes with a gig bag uh, um, it's a pretty kind of middle-of-the-road gig bag, but, uh, you know, it comes with a gig bag and like one of those cheap cables and a, a guitar pick. And, of course, the Allen wrench to make adjustments on the guitar. So it's, it's a nice little kit. But, yeah, guys, I mean, I talk all the time about, like, the Firefly guitars and, you know, the, some of the, the beginner-level sawtooth stuff and how, uh, you know, how good those guitars are when it comes to value. And I honestly think that this brand might end up uh, joining that list of other brands and just a really good bang for the buck because like I said it's a beautiful guitar they got a few different colors and pickup arrangements to choose from and yeah 150 180 200 bucks right in that range for this guitar that's that's pretty hard to pass up okay guys but what do you think about this guitar let me know down in the comment section below and of course if there's anybody out there that already owns a guitar from this brand, I would love to hear what your ownership experience has been like. As usual, guys, there will be links down in the video description below. I will have a link for this guitar, as well as the uh, amplifier I was using. That's my Fender GTX 100, plus all my social media and my new instructional video, all that stuff down in the video description below. Guys, thank you a ton for watching this. I hope you're having a great holiday season. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you very soon.